Hey there, everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of Life in the Woods Modded Minecraft. I was just checking down on the fish traps, um, because we've got some interesting plans for today, quote-unquote interesting. Um, but yeah, I got this awesome bow, and I'm really kind of excited about it, but I wonder if enchantments like that move on to the fancy kind of bows. But anyway, um, totally off topic. <laughs> um, our first plan for today, we're going to make a backpack and then go on an adventure. Um, I know our last adventure was kind of... Uh, uh, how shall we say, mediocre, maybe? Um, that's not where that goes. But I really want to go on another adventure because I want to try to find other substances, try to find other foods, and maybe look for some more jungle leaves because we have, was it up in here or down here? Here, we have the starfruit and the lemon, both of which I believe need jungle saplings uh, to become trees. Yep, they both need jungle saplings. Um... Uh, so I think we need some jungle saplings, and in that case we need to find either a jungle or a cannibal hut, uh, because cannibal hut's roofs are made out of jungle leaves, so they sometimes drop uh, jungle saplings, so that would be cool. But I want to make the backpack first so that we can, um, oh hello, look at that. Um, I want to make a backpack first so that we can carry extra food and extra stuff with us. But for that, we need eight pieces of leather. And right now, I have one plus 16 rotten flesh. So I was hoping that if I, I checked the fish traps outside, they would have some extra rotten flesh in them. Because, thanks to a nifty little mod, we can make patchwork flesh out of this. Um, that, that's not what I meant to do, but it'll work. Um, I think I can make one more of those. Okay. We take these patchwork fleshes then, and you put them in a furnace, and when they cook up, they become a piece of leather. Oh, I left my leather downstairs. But they become a piece of leather, and that's, that's really handy, except I don't have all that much rotten flesh in the uh, in the grand scheme of things because I've been sleeping through the night. Um, so I'm going to pal around for a little bit, try to lure out the undead, so to speak, and uh, try to get some more leather and I'll get back with you guys when I've got that all set up. Hey everybody, quick update. Um, I am having serious trouble collecting more leather. Um, oh wow, I didn't. I did. I did, I did, I did. Um, I was looking ahead at, uh, plans, and I decided we're gonna end up needing mayo. Now, that's all well and good, but the only way to make mayo is to put eggs through a juicer, I believe. Um, and I don't have any eggs. So I was trying to lead this chicken and a cow back and one of my leads broke. There it is. I was gonna say, and I'm probably not gonna find it now, but there it is. Because I somehow still don't have regular old seeds. I'm gonna have to go do no, not the plant, the chicken. It looks like it's coming out of its head. It makes me laugh. But um, I'm going to have to go do some research and see if there's like a special way to get those seeds. Because I need leather and I wouldn't mind uh, raising my own herd of cows, you know, because then whenever I need leather, I can just go butcher some of my cows, you know. Um, but I only have one cow so far. He's down there. Um, and I just accidentally let this chicken out because I didn't close up that front plate. Oh! I hate doing this with leads. I really want seeds. I'm gonna go research why I haven't found any seeds yet. So, it turns out that, uh, oh, 
turns out that I don't have any wheat seeds for the same reason that I can't hardly keep hunger in my bar. Um, because of the hungry version of this mod, you can only get wheat seeds by hoeing the ground, or hoeing ground that is not saturated. Um, that's a turnip and a parsnip. I think I have parsnips, but not turnips. So anyway, I'm having some like crazy FPS ish. If, hmm, crazy FPS issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera so it doesn't make anybody but me sick. Ooh. <gasps> yes! Come to me. Ah, thank you. I'm gonna go run back and plant these immediately. As you can tell, those were the one, two, three, uh, nah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was the ninth thing I clicked and it gave me seeds. <sighs> okay, everybody, we are ready to rock and roll on this backpack. Um, it took me, hey, look, a melon. This is the second melon we've gotten from here. I'm very excited about that. Um, but it has taken me a lot longer than I care to admit in, uh, to get these pieces of leather. Um, mainly because I don't have cows. I mean, I don't have wheat to breed cows. I did manage to catch a couple of cows. So we have them in there and they'll be cowing it up. Cowing it up? Yeah, that's that's a statement. <laughs> in here there are some chickens giving me feathers and eggs. They haven't given me some eggs in a while, but I also need to get more seeds to breed them. But speaking of which, last you saw me, um, I was just running off with a single seed to plant, and now we have three of them. We also have a lot of other stuff. <laughs> Um, in order to get some of this stuff to grow and in order to get these seeds, um, I had to, I had to hoe a lot of ground. Let's just, let's just put it that way. So I got a lot of other seeds too. And these are your regular wheat. Um, these are leeks, scallions, onions, oats. I want to say pineapples. Those might be down in that field though. Yeah, I think they're down in, in, in that field over there. So these two are some other things which are escaping my memory at the moment. This is why I normally put signs on everything. I normally have signs everywhere, but I tried it with these and it just, it didn't work. It didn't look good. It was awful. So we have all of these guys and we have these now. Um, I didn't break my vegetable patch rule and I believe these are the pineapples. So there's some pineapples in here, but otherwise, you know, you've got your chili peppers and your and your radishes and some grapes and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, that's what you missed while I was frantically trying to get leather for this backpack because gosh darn it, leather. Um, but we are ready to go and I think think the backpack that I want to make is the cyan backpack um, because teal is my favorite color actually I like that color better but we do not have the materials for it as you can guess by the name you need an ender chest so that's a no but we do have the materials for a cyan backpack I was checking down here to see if I had any cyan dye and luckily cyan is one of my favorite colors so I had managed to stash some wildflowers away. Um, and actually I think teal is really my favorite color but cyan and teal are pretty pretty darn close so I will live with it. <laughs> um, so we just click into our crafting bench here, put them in a circle and we have a- oh wait. Wait, 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 I did it out of order. Okay, now we have the die. Now we do the circle. Aw, yeah. Okay, so I think, yeah. This functions much like the quiver. If I mouse over it um, and then right click, I can open the uh, backpack and I can put it up in here, you know, and just have it chilling out. I think, s I, I once read somewhere that there's a way, oh, Oh, 
I didn't expect that to work, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I read somewhere that if you hit, if, if you hit shift B, it opens this up and apparently you can put the backpack in here. And then if I close that up, if I hit B, is that how that works? If I just hit B, it shows up like that. Oh, that's nifty. <laughs> um, I wonder, I do, I do wear a little backpack, don't I? Oh, that's the wrong button. I, look at it. Oh, it's not blue. That's a bummer, but look. <laughs> Elsa's going off to school. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that little outburst. I was just, that was so funny to me that you can actually see the little straps. That's so funny and also cute and just a really clever idea that I just kind of went into. <laughs> I had a little fit of giggles, but I'm all right now. Uh, serious business time. We need some things to fill this backpack up with, and I think a good thing to do for that would be food. And considering we have this much fish, I think we should look for something uh, uh, fish related. Now, these are snacks, so they restore one hunger each. A light meal, which is just flour and raw fish fillet in bakeware. That would be, that would be decent. Um, I'm kind of intrigued by the sandwiches though, because those are nourishing meals, so that'll keep us fed really, really well. Um, so I think we're going to make one of those for fun. The only thing I'm worried about is that it won't accept the raw fish. I really hope it does, but, uh, you know. So for this, we need mayo, which I believe is just an egg through a juicer. Because of course it is. Oh, I do need, I need those from there. And there's my juicer. Oh, I also moved a crafting bench over here. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I realized that for things that don't require the uh, the cutting board there, I was having to walk back over here again, and that was just, that was taking like three episodes back. So we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> so let's start with three things of mayo, just, just because three was the arbitrary number I just picked. Um... No, not what I meant to do. The other thing we need then is bread. And we can make bread by baking dough. Is that the only way that we can make it? We can make it with three wheat, but I don't have three wheat. So we're going to go with the dough method. Um, How do we make dough? There's flour in it somewhere. I know that much. There it is. It's a mixing bowl, water bucket, salt, and flour. And flour, I believe, can be made, yeah, by grinding up any, any old, um, oh, uh, grain, grain, that's the word. I do need a water bucket, however. So I will come grab a water bucket quick. And this is, this is where the sink comes in handy, because normally I'd have to run all the way down there. And instead I can just right click my sink. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. I panicked for a minute, but that actually works well, because then I believe if I do this, I can multiply that into four fresh water and get my bucket back. Awesome. So, we come up here. Oh, I do need stuff from there. Um, Let's take two barley and a rice. And some salt. And I need the mortar. And, and, and. Words are hard. Flour. Flour. Awesome. Uh, mixing bowl. There you are. I feel like I need to be putting on my uh, my food network face for this. You know, like... Okay, so you take one thing of fresh water here and you add not the mayo. That would be silly. You add your flour and mix in some salt and you get a nice roll of dough. Now let this sit in your... Okay, I'm stopping because that... <laughs> that's, that's even annoying me, so... I, I'm not sure why I'm doing these one at a time. Hello. Okay. So I did that in a really unnecessarily long manner. But we'll pop those doughs in there. 
And hopefully this does give us bread, because if it gives us something funky, I'm going to be like, panic, take my dough back. Um, but it gives us bread. Fantastic. Okay. So if we plunk the mixing bowl back up there, and we can put our fresh water in the fridge, because I'm crazy. And put our salt back. I have a lot of salt. Good gracious. Okay, so we have mayo. I need fish. Mayo skillet. Fish mayo skillet. That would be that would be interesting. Now I have raw fish and cooked fish. So if one doesn't work, I will try the other. And if both of them don't work, I will be very, very sad. It will be sad puppy time. Okay, but skillet, raw fish, mayonnaise, and bread. <gasps> Yay! Fish sandwich. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to craft up the last two of these we have then. Cool. And we can pop that back there. Step back and hit B. And plunk those in the backpack. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, after a little more uh, resource gathering, I have been able to get enough uh, rice and barley to go ahead and try to make fish sticks. Um, that was really hard to say for some reason. <laughs> so I need the mortar and pestle for the flour, and I need the bakeware for the sticks themselves. So we can make rice flour and we can make barley flour. Is it called barley flour? I think it's just flour. Anyway, bakeware, flour, and fishes. Fishes give us fish sticks, a light meal. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I actually, I'm not the uh, biggest fan of fish, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, and when you have this much of the stuff, you may as well make use of it. So, um, the only problem I'm really foreseeing at the moment is the fact that I seem to have severely underestimated the, the um, the power of this hungry mod. Um, because when I planted these up here, I went, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just plant three of the barley, you know, three of the oats, three, three of these wheat here. Uh, I'll just plant three of each and that'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. It's not fine. It's not totally fine at all. <laughs> Most of the things that I want to make require flour in some way. Like, hey, a brownie would be awesome. Um... Banana nut bread, shrimp, that's cool. Fried chicken, hello, we have to have fried chicken at some point, come on. So basically, um, I need I need more things that produce flour. So I have, I believe I have barley, rice, oats, and I just got rye, and I think rye can produce flour, can't it? Let me, let me just search that, I'm pretty sure it can. Yes, it can. So I'm thinking I need to make one more grain field and get some more food because as much as I want to go on this adventure, guys, I know I promised adventure at the beginning of this and believe me, I'm very sad that we haven't been on an adventure yet. This has taken much longer than I thought it would. Um, I just, I don't think it's safe to go on this much. I, I feel like we need a little more than this unless we want to end up living on morsels. So, I'm going to look into putting in another patch purely for the purpose of producing more flour. Yes, I chose that many peas on purpose. <laughs> Af after I said the first couple, it was just like, okay, now I have to do this all the way. Um, in fact, maybe I could just put it along the water here or somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have a fiddle and I'll let you guys know. Hey there, everybody. Okay, I went ahead and I 
finished the patch up. It's up on this little hilltop. I figured this would be a nice hill to, uh, you know, dub the flower hill. And see, I finally managed to put a sign up and it doesn't look awful. <laughs> But uh, basically, according to this one, it's back in that left field is barley, oats in the right one, rice in this front left, and rye in the front right. And sadly, my rye is, is one poor little plant. <laughs> um, but I took these from their spots over there, and um, I'm going to move different plants into those spaces. Uh, for example, where the barley was, I think I'm going to put more wheat. Um, but for example, I want to let this one finish growing before I take it out since it's pretty close. Same with this guy here. Um, but I did just run through and I harvested a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuff in here. So we're going to go put that away. But, whoops. But I think think that's all we have time for uh for today i i really am sorry that i didn't get to go adventuring i'm i'm really kind of bummed about that but on the plus side this means that we can spend pretty much all of next episode adventuring and and we don't just have to try and cram it all into into 15 minutes or or something like that we can just spend an entire episode just adventuring our little hearts out and, and having a grand old time. <laughs> so, uh, if you liked this episode, please be sure to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy my videos and my classic word screw-ups. <laughs> uh, share it as you see fit, and please tune in next time. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap.